case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1982, the Illinois Appellate Court heard the case of Biggs v. Terminal Railroad, in which Rodney Stephen Biggs, a track laborer, sued his employer under the Federal Employers Liability Act, FELA, for injuries sustained after being hit on the head with a railroad spike by a co-worker. The case hinged on whether Terminal Railroad Association of St. Louis was liable for Biggs's injuries due to negligence. The dispute between Biggs and his co-worker stemmed from an argument, after which the co-worker struck Biggs with the spike. To find the railroad liable under FELA, Biggs had to prove that he was acting within the scope of his employment, that the defendant was negligent, and that the negligence contributed to his injury. The lower court found in favor of Biggs, but the railroad appealed arguing that Biggs was not acting within the scope of his employment and that they were not negligent. The appellate court ultimately reversed the lower court's judgment, concluding that although Biggs was acting within the scope of his employment, the railroad could not be held directly negligent as they had insufficient notice of the co-workers' violent tendencies. Furthermore, the court found that notice to a track foreman did not equate to notice to the corporation itself. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for Visit lse.law Elevate your mind Leave the stress of class 